What is up guys, Nick here with another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to root your Sprint Galaxy Note 5 on Marshmallow. Now a lot of us took the Marshmallow update and it's really nice, but it's always nicer when you're rooted. So in order to do this you're going to need a few things, a few files, but the very first thing you need to do is open up your phone, go into settings, scroll all the way down to about device, go down to the build number, click that until it says congratulations developer mode enabled, open up your developer options, make sure they're turned on, turn on OEM unlock, and turn on USB debugging. Now that's it on your phone for now. Go ahead and plug it into your computer as you can see I've done. Open it up and drag and drop this file the super user zip file onto the root of your storage on your phone um, and the links to all these will be in the description okay now you can download Odin and once it's downloaded you can extract it I'm just going to extract it to my desktop but I recommend you extract it someplace safer than that and once you have it downloaded and you have the Odin folder open go ahead and drag and drop the team win recovery project or TWRP file into your old Odin folder. Now the next thing you need to do is go on your phone again, hold the power button, click power off, yes power off not reboot, and make sure it's not plugged into your computer for this. And you just wait until your phone powers completely off. Alright once it's turned completely off hold the power, the volume down, and the home button all at the same time until you're faced with a screen that says warning a custom OS can cause critical problems blah 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 we know what we're doing go ahead and hit volume up it will switch over into download mode it will say downloading and you'll hear it when it connects to your machine if it does not connect to your machine check your drivers and make sure they're installed if they're not installed uh, go to Samsung's website and get the drivers or just google Samsung Galaxy Note 5 download mode drivers and you will find it Go ahead and open up Odin now by double clicking the Odin icon. You want to see this, you want to see where it says added and then COM4 or whatever communication port it has. And um, you'll go ahead and click AP and desktop Odin and you will click the Team One Recovery Project file that you downloaded and it says it's added and you go ahead and click start. And it will flash the recovery and it will go ahead and reboot and then what you want to do is hot boot your phone by holding the power and the volume down and then hold power home and volume up when it begins to reboot and it will say recovery is not SE Android enforcing and that's fine and now on your phone it should load into team win recovery project and you can go ahead and say swipe to allow modifications unless you don't want to for whatever reason and you will go up in the top left on your phone screen click install scroll down until you get to the super user icon and then swipe to confirm the flash and it will install the super user package and it takes it just a little bit to install it not too long though it's not like it's a ROM okay it says creating boot image flashing boot image excellent first reboot okay so it warns you the first reboot may take a few minutes it may reboot several times it says do not interrupt the process so we will just let it do its thing and then we will click reboot system go ahead and make sure your phone is not plugged in um, when you click reboot system now my phone is just coming on and should load in pretty soon ok 
it looped once. It's powering back on. And now it's coming on for good. So uh, I don't know if you heard that over the mic, but that was my boot up tone. All right, great. I'm back in. And do I have super user? Or well, super, super user actually is what it is. Um, I don't see it, but there's an easy way to check for root. And that is to go into your app store and download root checker. Only takes a second to install. Doesn't need any permissions. It's installing now. Okay, root checker successfully installed. Great. Okay, so I'm going to say verify root status. Granting it super user permissions. And it says congratulations, root access is properly installed. So now you have root access on your Galaxy Note 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.